Class is in session. Hey everyone, and welcome to another light novel review. Today I'll be looking at Classroom of the Elite, and I know I'm going to mispronounce this, but it's written by Syogo Kinugasa, and art is by Tomose Shunsaku. It's also published by Seven Seas. Classroom of the Elite follows the story of Ayano Koji Kiyotaka, a first-year high school student enrolled in the prestigious Tokyo Metropolitan Advanced Nurturing High School. Ayano Koji is ready to make friends, secure a good future for himself, and enjoy his youth to the fullest. However, Classroom of the Elite is not a slice-of-life story. It's not a comedy or a romance. Classroom of the Elite is a drama, a mystery, and also kind of a tournament arc. Basically, in this school, rank and reputation is everything. The future leaders of Japan will graduate from here, so it's the school's responsibility to ensure only the best of the best make it through. They do this via a simple-to-understand point system. Every month students are allocated a point like currency that can be used instead of money when on school grounds. Every class is evaluated as a unit, and poor performance from one student can negatively affect next month's balance for the whole class. So it's all about working together for a common goal as individual errors are reflected on the whole group. Unfortunately for Ayano Koji, he has been placed in the bottom class, Class D, which is historically where all the duds or misfit students are placed. It's also where Ayano Koji's desk neighbor and frenemy, Horikita Suzune, was placed. Horikita has the pride and determination to keep the class together and aim for the top even if she hates everyone in the class. And that's pretty much the long and short of it. Sure, it has its lighter moments, but that mainly came from a well-written delayed reveal of what this story is really about. It's got a colorful cast of characters, most being stereotypes. But there are a few heavily layered characters such as Horikita and the class's idol Kushida. The novel shines brightest when it approaches each situation with a Sherlock Holmes style analysis, picking everything apart and leading to a previously unseen conclusion. And while it follows this tried and true structure of intro complication resolution to a T, it has such strong resolutions that play on minute details you as a reader may have missed initially. It has a lot going for it and it is surprising the anime didn't go further, as it adapted the first few novels very well. It's a series that subverts expectations in a unique way. The first-person perspective works well as Ayano Koji enters the school as a blank slate of sorts, so it's relatively easy to get absorbed and surprised by every curveball. The illustrations are nice, but not a lot is going on. Some I can't show because of spoilers, but as this novel is grounded in some sort of reality, there's only so much they can do with a high school setting. So it's all quite nice, but standard, except for the spoiler I can't show. Even the cover is fairly basic, but again, it probably works to subvert expectations. Overall, Classroom of the Elite is an interesting drama and mystery novel that feeds you breadcrumbs so you'll make it all the way to the end. It's a solid read and more than what it seems at first glance. So if anything I've just said appealed to you, I'd recommend Classroom of the Elite. I hope you enjoyed that video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and if you have any light novel recommendations for me, please let me know down below. Until next time, bye!